your mind is the greatest thing, but it's also your biggest downfall. Have you ever had moments where your mind is so, so clouded with thoughts, so crowded with overthinking, to the point that your thoughts literally consume you, to the point where you can't think straight or clearly? But there's something you need to remember. You are not your thoughts. Hey, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope things have been alright. You see, I sometimes still am, but I used to think a lot, overthink. And especially in certain situations with friends and social environments or social gatherings, uh, or especially in relationships with other people, I would overthink a lot. I had a lot of insecurities, I had a lot of worries, and it was always dawning on my mind. Sometimes I'd even literally get sick from how much I overthought and how much my thoughts crowded my mind. I could never think clearly. Despite the facts being there, I could never see things straight, see things through. It was a huge problem for me, especially when I wanted to get things done. My mind was the greatest thing to help me get things done, but it was also the biggest obstacle. Obstacle, obstacle. Now, I read the book, The Art of Thinking Clearly. This really, really helped me. I'm going to reveal to you a concept that was revealed to me from this book that I have been practicing and understanding in everyday life, which has helped me overcome this in the space of two years on my self-improvement journey. It has helped me hugely, literally in a couple weeks it helped, and that is the confirmation bias. The confirmation bias is basically when we absorb or learn about new information and we twist it to fit or support our existing beliefs. Now, this is something that we all do, you do a lot, because I did this a lot. I twisted information around, well, my brain did subconsciously, I didn't even consciously do this, to fit my existing beliefs and objectively ignoring the facts. We will often contradict or take out parts of this new information that contradict our current views. However, our bias is usually influenced from our emotions, and not just that, our past. For example, you know, I was in a relationship once, right? I got cheated on, yeah, unfortunate. Not cheated, no, no, I didn't get cheated actually. But um, when we broke up, she kind of went off with some other dude like straight away, um, which obviously there's nothing wrong with that because like, we were broken up but it still sucked and when i got into a new relationship things were going great but then some overthought overthinking did come towards the end of that second relationship because of past experiences of what happened before despite despite there being very clear facts that there was no issue at all i'll put up a diagram to like explain confirmation bias um which it hopefully it's the right way round. It, it might be backwards, so you might need a brain cell to like flip it, but it should be okay. It should be fine. So, if this is basically the root of most of the problems, when we overthink, we have this sort of notion of confirmation bias, where we twist and warp information to suit our already beliefs, our views that are already there. How do we actually stop this? How can we think clearly? There is a way, there is a way you can, and it's a lot simpler than you think, and you're gonna look at it and be like, nah, that's not true, that's lies, that's cap, that's bull, <laughs> that, that, that can't be true, it's that simple, nah, I would have done this already. But the thing is, despite it being so simple, you don't do it, and that's because you've not known about this before. Take a step back, that's it. Just when you are in a situation that is stressful or is spiking up a lot of emotions or the past, so this is when our overthinking starts to kick in, where our confirmation bias starts to kick in, as we already previously discussed. It often happens when with our emotions are quite high, or anything to do with the past. When this is happening, we're in that sort of situation, maybe it's an argument with a, a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend, or maybe it's a problem with friends. Take a big step back. Facts do not cease to exist just because they're ignored. Take a big step back and a big breath. 
I'm not talking about a itty bitty pussy like mouth breath. Like <laughs> I'm talking about a big, deep breath through your nose, not to your chest, but down to your stomach. I want your stomach to rise up and down. I want you to take a huge breath. You literally take a full step back mentally and just take a big, deep breath. Take a deep, deep breath and literally set aside any any pre-notions that you have. Be completely open-minded and be ready to challenge your own viewpoints. Take a big step back. Literally, in a couple of seconds, that's enough to make a difference. There are times where you'll get into an argument and you'll start getting caught up in the heat of the moment. If you literally close your eyes, take a big deep breath and sort of think, okay, why is this person upset? It's because of this, they disagree with what I'm thinking. Okay, why do they disagree? You know what, they do have a good point, but this is why I disagree with them. I'll let them know as well, that I understand the reason that they're upset, but this is the reason why I'm arguing my point. Take a big, big, big step back. It does genuinely help, especially when those heat of the moments where you start to overthink and it starts to lead to an argument and you start getting caught up in the moment. Just this tiny little act in these couple little seconds is enough to deal with confirmation bias and is enough to make a change. To actually set away your such black and white sort of like thinking and actually start thinking clearly. Just make sure that next time before you jump to a conclusion that you have got all the facts and all the information that you can get. And this doesn't just mean in those stressful situations, it can be with anything. Maybe you think that your spouse or your significant other is cheating on you. You take a big step back, think about it. Is there any actual factual evidence to this? Or is it just due to my own emotions? This helps with everything. Once you understand that confirmation bias is a thing. Hopefully this helped you out. And I hope I hope things have been good. I hope you've been all right. And I'd be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's gonna pop up in the corner here, because this video could help you out as well. And subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. Hello. <laughs> Come here, give yourself a broom kiss.